My quiet little anchor spot in Beaufort was unceremoniously invaded by a very large fishing trawler at Odark 30. What are you doing and why are you doing it right here at 2 in the morning? Go away. Oh boy. Well, goodbye little spot. We're headed up to the bridge. A mere half a mile away or so. I passed the Duke University Marine Lab and the trawler fleet, which can be any color as long as it's red. Jeff is stowing his gear. And we were just about to shove off and I remembered something I saw over here. Here my shirt. Okay. It is one o'clock. November 16, Jamie's birthday. In honor of Jamie's birthday, we're gonna leave for the Bahamas. Too many power boats around here anyway. to be a day or so of almost no wind and we kind of need to slow down if we're doing our averages so we don't get to Marsh Harbor right during a 25 knot buster we have to cut through men and war reefs and those little cuts between islands by Marsh Harbor so we'll just uh, we'll get our swim finally and, uh, maybe find a big man of sargasso to check out or something but yeah I think we'll just Take our time there and enjoy the day. Slow down a bit. Ron will check uh, weather for us and tell us the latest. And we'll manage our speed so we get to Marsh Harbor at A, daylight, and B, uh, pleasant weather, hopefully. If the weather will give us that. I think Jeff, Jeff is below. Jeff, we need to do the fisherman's prayer sooner this time. He didn't get much sleep last night. He slept in a car. Got about two hours of terrible sleep. So he's going down right now. Get some shut eye. Wow, I hope they have a lot of Mr. Clean on board. So we're leaving port at 63. We should cross the stream in the first 60 miles, I would think. So we'll look for that temperature to rise. And the seas are really delightfully calm. Imagine like this all the way to the Bahamas. Wouldn't that be something? I know it's not going to happen. I'm just dreaming. But wouldn't that be something? Especially given all the crap we've sailed through so far. I would really love that. Universe, I want that, please. Make that happen. Oh, we gotta do the fisherman's prayer tonight when Jeff's awake. For sure. We gotta give that to tequila. Definitely tequila. Maybe tequila and rum. Tequila and rum, yeah. And cookies. Yeah. Our first bump in water temperature came pretty fast. Oh, great Neptune, king of the seven seas, we offer tribute to you for safe passage. 
Cross your water. Early morning. Steering. This line broke earlier this morning. It caused us to spin into the wind and a bit of mischief, but uh, I had bought two new lines before we left. So I can't say it's been a lot of fun so far. It's gray, it's cold as you can see, and lumpy as you can see. Our new sail arrangement before it goes totally dark for another long night. Fish in the boat, yes! Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Woohoo! Tonight, just the right size for us, too. Thank you, Mr. Fish. You're beautiful. Those colors disappear quick. That's going to be some good eating. Woohoo! Okay, so we've got fish tied to the cutting board, and the cutting board tied to the boat, so we own it. Thank you, Mr. Fish. All right, we've got four bags, two chunks each, and we're just trying to figure out what's the best way to cook it. Well, how many different ways can we have it? With butter and lemon. Fish tacos on the second day, maybe. And then three more fish began following the boat. More mahi? Just about reached down there and grab it by the tail. They wouldn't take a lure, and I had no luck trying to gaff them. So we decided to film them. A sailorly lashing here. Some small stuff. I'm assuming these are yellowfin tuna. And look at those collars, wow. you just don't find yourself every day. Middle of the ocean, calm, sunny, really nice water, so why wouldn't you jump in it? Jeff's turn. Like jumping in a glass of champagne. Is that not an amazing color, Blue? Is that not astounding? Man, I sure enjoyed that swim. I was feeling bad outside of Norfolk when we said we were going to swim and we passed up on the first opportunity and it was the only one, so 
those bird in the hand moments. Gotta grab them. Gotta grab them. Glad we did. It was so calm, I was even able to climb to the top of the mast to attend to the masthead light. Well, old Neptune realized he'd been slacking, letting us have all this fun and easy sailing, so he decided to progressively step up his game. Fisherman's prayer and offerings be damned. That'll happen in part two, so keep a weather eye out for it. And please consider joining our Patreon community. Sorry about that. Alright, for you guitar fans, I've got something really interesting. At Muriel's All-Star Guitar Night in 2018, in the green room before the show, Jank Ergodan from Turkey, who plays a fretless guitar, was there. Tommy Emanuel was there, and Rory Hoffman was there. Rory was born blind, and as a young kid was given a guitar, his hands were too little to go around the neck, so he laid it in his lap backwards, with the neck out the wrong way. And no one said, don't do it that way, Rory, and he just got good at it, really good. And he still plays that way today. So Rory, who's seated, says to Jake, let me try your fretless guitar. And he starts playing this crazy gypsy jazz song. And I walk in in the middle of it, but uh, just check this out. This is interesting. <laughs> Stinking friends! <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. That's so crazy. 